Heat stress is a big factor that cattle producers all over the state battle year in and year out during the summer months. We embarked on a two-year study to gather data on some of our mitigation and feeding strategies and trying to couple those two together to try to mitigate those stressors on our animals. We utilize sunshade and also limit feeding a highly digestible ration and coupling those two together to see what the impacts are on heat stress mitigation. What we found, great statistical analysis was done and we have very good results showing that shade by itself Re, uh, increases average daily gain in feeder cattle at, at stocker age uh, size from 500 to 700 pounds during the summer months, increases average daily gain up to 7%. On top of that, it increases feed efficiency by up to four. Now what that means is animals are utilizing more of the energy that we are delivering to them, making the entire system more sustainable. On top of the feed efficiency and uh, the average daily gain, we also looked at water. Whenever we utilize sunshade and limit feeding, we can reduce the daily needs of these growing animals by up to a gallon a day. Now, when we incorporate that uh, on a per animal basis on an entire cattle feeding operation, that could be thousands of dollars of savings just in the water savings. If you're contemplating utilizing shade or changing your feeding practices during the summer months to improve your efficiencies and well-being of the animals, keep in mind, not only are we improving performance, reducing the needs of all the inputs such as water and feed resources, but we're also increasing cattle comfort. During the study, we also measured panning scores, and panning scores are a way that we can measure uh, how much heat stress those animals are, are having. We drastically and statistically reduced the amount of panning scores, uh, which really shows us we have increased cattle comfort, increased cattle performance, increased uh, animals' ability to utilize the, uh, the nutrients that we're providing for them. So if you're thinking about sunshades, it's good to keep this data and implement that on your own operation on the increase in average daily gain, feed efficiency, water utilization, that we can couple this in to what it would cost on your operation, on if you're gonna make an investment on your operation in things like uh, sunshade or utilizing a different feeding practice, uh, putting the entire economics behind it, this data should help you make those decisions.